be ready five second start an honorable lady member said that there are no big farmers now and that if you have details of small and marginal farmers you let us know we do have madam details of small and marginal farmers we also know what is the amount of area under cultivation by small and marginal farmers we do have separate schemes for small and marginal farmers therefore while there may be administrative problems i do not believe that there will be serious problems in implementing the schemes that we have now i think honorable member on this side while some of the statement which i must have made in my earlier period said that the subsidy did not go to the farmers now i think it is quite true that because our fertilizer industry is not as efficient as elsewhere and also because the input price in our country is not as low as in many other countries the price of natural gas for various reason is much higher than the price of natural gas in other countries for all these reasons the price of domestic fertilizer is higher than the price of imported fertilizers if we have ample foreign exchange then we simply say well the loss making units in the public sector or in the private sector we could allow them to die we would not our farmers and we would allow our farmers import of whatever fertilizers were needed i mentioned more than once before that unfortunately that option we do not have so the choice that our farmers have is not cheaper imported fertilizers versus no fertilizers the choice today is to have only domestic fertilizers if you say that you are not going to have that well we cannot give them imported fertilizers in the situation when foreign exchange is simply not available i was also asked about the disparity between the urban and rural areas now i do share this concern while replying to the debate on the other side i did say that i am very worried that this urban divide is widening that it is very explosive and therefore we must take measures to that root of this disparity and i also said in the other house that if you look at this problem in depth you cannot resolve this tension by giving subsidies to 70% of the population